now that we have our backend route and controller completed, we should be able to fetch all the products uh, to the client. But one thing I left out in the previous videos, I wasn't able to test it out. So let's go ahead and quickly ensure that we're fetching all the, the products. So now that this is a get request, we don't have to use a software like uh, Postman to test our API and um, to test our API. In this case, because it's, an, it's a get request, we're able to test this in the browser. So all I have to do is do localhost and it's currently in the port 5000 forge slash API and then do product right because that's the endpoint we're trying to hit in order to fetch all the products so if I press enter look at that we get all the products from our database returned to us to the client all right obviously we don't have the UI interface uh, with react to display the, uh, the these products but we know and we can feel conf we're, we're confident enough now to know that we are getting back the response from the server and we can do something with this data okay so that's all i wanted to do there all right now let's go ahead to move on to the next step so the next step is using redux to create our get products action function all right so we're going to start off with creating the constant and let's go ahead to source to the redux and for constants i'm going to create a new file and it's going to be called product constants.js all right we're going to do export const and this const is going to be called get products and in strings <laughs> I could have typed it out, but I was too lazy. I decided to just paste it. All right, get products. So we have the constant now. So the next thing we want to do is go ahead with the reducer. So let's go ahead to the reducer folder and we're going to create a new file within it. And this one's going to be called product reducers.js. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that constant that we just created and let's import from, we gotta go back run one directory into constants and product constants and that was called get products. All right, next step for the reducer is we wanna create the initial state. Initial state equals an object with products and this products is going to be an empty array initially and next thing is we're going to set up our reducer so it's going to be const product reducer and parents we get two arguments right so the first argument is we want to set the state to the initial state and the second argument is we get an action. Next thing is the switch statement. And we're doing a switch on the action type. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do first case for get products. We're gonna return. What we're gonna do is we're gonna return We're going to do products, products, and then we're going to spread whatever we are in the, in the action dot payload. All right. So this is what we're going to get back from the back end as a payload. And we're just going to spread out everything within an array. And the reason why we're, we're, we're spreading it within an array is because the initial stage, you see products, we have a set as an array. So that's why. Okay, so the next thing is we have to set the default to return the state. All right, and then export default the product reducer. All right, now that we have our reducer in place, one thing I didn't place here in the notes was we have to add our reducer into the to the store. 
So let's go ahead to the store and I'm going to copy this here and paste right below and I'm going to change this to product reducer and this is product reducer and I'm going to copy this line here inside our combined reducers paste that in there change this to products and product reducer okay there we go and then save and then let's see all right so we have the reducer next step is creating our action our get products action so let's we if we look into our actions folder we already have a products actions file so we're going to open that up as you can see the reason was because we had we created our create product um, action function so we do have one already uh, action function for our products so now we need a get products action so i'm going to copy this here and below it paste and i'm going to change this to get products and we're not passing any form data as an argument so we have to do empty parentheses and we're going to do an async dispatch and let's see here we're going to keep this dispatch of start loading and then for this axios request we're going to change this post to a get and the endpoint is the same api product we're not sending any form any form data so there you go and then once we get the response from the database it's going to return that response and store it inside this, this uh, response variable and the next thing is once that that request is done we're going to stop the loading and then next thing is uh, get products uh, we don't need to we don't need this here well we don't need the we're not displaying a message but we are going to do a dispatch on a type of the get products and for the payload we are going to as a payload we're going to take this response here right and it has the data and then the products the products all right that's what's returned to us from the back end and then for here if we get an error we're going to change this to get products api error and then stop loading, error message, everything else is the same, and that is it. All right, so now we have our action, um, our reducer, our constant, and our action for allowing us to get products using Redux. So that is it for now, and I'll see you again later.